into our headline topic, which is, of course, Apple's compliance with the EU's regulations that are forcing them to behave less like a walled garden and more like a falled a garden with barbed wire around it. Dummy. Um, yeah, so, okay. Apple is being accused of malicious compliance with the European Union's Digital Markets Act, or DMA, after detailing its plans to add support for third-party app stores, third-party payment systems, and browser engines other than Safari to iOS in the European Union. In a news release, Apple repeatedly emphasized that the DMA opens new avenues for malware, fraud, and scams, and illicit and harmful content, and other privacy and security threats. Now, here's, sure what, here's what I'd like to know. Yeah. Apple's a very privacy and security first company, aren't they? Yes. So then, with all the resources that they have, with the are, are they at hundreds of billions of dollars of cash reserves right now? Probably. Yeah, and with all the with all the people in the tech industry that are in need of work right now, I would like to know, Apple, what investments you're making to ensure that as an iPhone user in the European Union, I'm not going to be affected by this stuff. No, seriously, though, Apple's one of those companies that this is very unlike them to acknowledge any potential flaw in their product, even if it is caused by compliance with a third-party regulation, they don't like to talk about that. Yeah. They like to talk about safety and security and privacy and the Apple experience. It, it, you can tell they're at, they're at the desperation stage to try to do something about this. Um, however, Apple <laughs> has a solution. Apple has instituted multiple safeguards. Including requiring Apple authorization of all developers on alternative uh, of alternative app marketplaces, a letter of credit of a million euros in order to launch an alternative app store, disclosure of alternative payments data, notarization of all apps that is app review by bots and humans. So basically, Apple is saying, okay, you can have your own store. But the only way that we could possibly ensure the security of the iPhone is if um, we're basically, like, in charge of it. <laughs> and also, you pay us a bunch of money. A lot. Um, Apple will be reducing their current fees. A 10% fee for subscriptions, a 17% fee for digital goods and services, and an additional 3% for using Apple's payment system. However, Apple will also be adding a new core technology fee so once an app hits 1 million installs its devs will have to pay 50 euro cents is that what they're actually called euro cents yeah i don't know 50 half of a euro <laughs> for every new user who installs it on ios annually that is wild okay anyway the app can be reinstalled by the same user for no charge for 12 months though wow it's actually euro cents this applies to paid apps and free apps. Apple says they will have an install verification mechanism to avoid install spam because I'm sure it'll be like totally in their interest to ensure that <laughs> you know the experience on third party app stores is really good that they've really they've really telegraphed that. Um, Apple has provided a fee calculator and some devs have found that under some circumstances Apple could take as much as 60% of their yearly revenue. Nice. Developers of alternative app stores need to pay the CTF for every first annual installation, including the first million. <laughs> oh, man. But don't worry. Don't worry. There's an alternative. If developers don't like this deal. Right. Good. Well, they can stay under Apple's current business terms and oh. remain exclusively on the app store. Where no third-party marketplaces or payment systems will be allowed. So is the only way to get an alternative store onto the platform by distributing the alternative store through the app store? I actually do not know. That is a really good question. Because that's what it sounds like through their terms. Because how could they charge you if you didn't get it through the app store? 
Luke, how does that make any sense? Luke, I'm not sure. I'm I'm sure that uh, oh, when it when I it comes Riley to when it comes to collecting your money, um, I think Apple will find a way. It's unclear how Apple will authorize and distribute the alternative marketplaces. Yeah, huh. maybe their hope is that this deal <laughs> will be technically compliant with the EU's guidelines, not guidelines, laws, uh, but be so bad that nobody will actually do it. Tim Tim Sweeney's been going off. Has he? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he oh man, he's been he's been going off. And to be clear, <laughs> I do not agree with Tim Sweeney about everything. In fact, we've like had personal beef at one point. It was but, a while ago, but yeah. But what he is right about, just just because just because I don't agree with someone once doesn't mean I can't agree with them when they say something correct. Like I'm not saying Hitler was right. <laughs> no. God, God. <laughs> I was going to say something specific. I don't know. Maybe he said something about how trains should be on time or something. I don't know. I don't actually, I don't actually, I haven't memorized any, any quotes. Okay. Uh, my point is just that just because I disagree with someone about something doesn't mean I can't acknowledge when they're right about something. Maybe the chair was comfy. And Mr. Sweeney, the chair. Some people will get that. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Sweeney is Definitely. <laughs> Luke, please control this man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luke. Some people got it. Good. Okay. Look what you've yeah. done. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> How? So, so Mr. Sweeney is 100% correct here when he says that Apple is, is absolutely behaving in an anti-competitive way the eu has called them out on it in a very in a very clear way and apple has gone out of their way to ensure that the manner in which they've complied with the eu's new regulations is as awful as humanly possible also we had talked before about, okay, if Apple is forced to allow additional marketplaces and all of that, well, how is it going to affect people outside the EU? It looks like the answer is not one bit. It won't. Apple will be maintaining its monopolistic behavior anywhere that it is allowed to. So if you want anything to change, and change it can and should. I mean, Apple has demonstrated that they can have lower subscription fees as long as they can charge you a, a, a what, what what is it, a... Um, core technology fee man this is this is bizarre like why why do why do people defend this kind of double dipping behavior i don't know you see a lot of it though it's like it's triple dipping actually first they charge the user for the device then they charge the developer just to have a developer account oh no we're up to quadruple dipping now for then they charge the developer to have a developer account then they charge you a core technology fee if you actually have a very successful app then they charge you a 10 percent fee on subscriptions 17 percent for digital goods and services at what point does it end well you also have to use their payment system like we mock this kind of thing when it's well, the cable yet. when it's the cable company Mm -hmm. But realistically, <clears throat> most people have as many options for cable companies as they do for major cell phone platforms. And so the people who say, well, Apple's not a monopoly because Android exists, it's like, okay, 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 right. But that doesn't, you can have a duopoly then. It doesn't change that you can and have people, monopolistic behavior. People compare it to Steam, and I'm, I'm not here to defend Steam's 30% take either. But, no, not even a little. But on a computer, you could use things that aren't Steam. Well, yeah, that in Steam actually has, as far as I can like tell... Steam doesn't charge Epic Games money to sell games on their platform. No, and as far as I can tell, Steam doesn't charge game devs any ongoing fees for the original purchase of the game. So you Don't could have so. a game that's 160 gigabytes. You could download that game now and forever... Not to mention all the cloud synchronization of your save files. Remember, Nintendo is going to charge you like what eight bucks a month per user to sync your cloud save to sync your saves to the cloud. Like Steam is actually operating a platform that actually delivers value to the user. I want to buy games on Steam. Whereas, what is Apple actually doing? I mean, yeah, they handle downloading, sure, but the infrastructure, by comparison, when we're talking downloads that are 160 gigabytes in many cases 
Which and we're talking megs. downloads that are 160 <clears throat> megabytes, and that's a pretty decent sized app. I mean, you'll get multi gigabit, or uh, gigabit, you'll get multi gigabyte mobile apps, uh, especially for games, but there'll be three or four typically not not hundreds and to be clear i just want to make this clear apple's operating at an enormous scale on the app store but don't kid yourself so is valve yeah gaming it's kind of a thing yeah um, yeah and like uh people are bringing up like oh you can buy an android and it's like okay the, so there's the whole duopoly thing also we're talking about platforms in general we don't think android is necessarily better off here the the uh, play store is also terrible um just you can technically it's not a very clean process but you can sideload on on android um and the the steam example this would be like if the only way that you could get any apps on windows was the microsoft store I know I just gave everyone nightmares. I apologize for that. Um, But it would be as if that was the only way. And for Steam or something else to exist, Microsoft is going to take a cut of it. Yeah. Just for Valve having the privilege to be allowed to have Steam. Yeah. That's pretty crap. Is that a thing that you would like? Is that a thing that you would defend? Do you think that would have made... would Would that have made the PC what it is today? Someone said, you mean like on Windows RT? I know practically nothing about Windows RT, but if that's how it would work, that's not something I would defend. Uh, Does Windows RT even exist anymore? I don't know. Windows RT is a mobile operating system designed by, first unveiled January 2011. Oh, final release, January 10th, 2023, 12 months ago. So is it... Is it still a thing? Is it not a thing? I suspect it's supported. Extended support was ended January 10th, 2023. Never mind. So, yeah. That's how good it is. Sick. Cool. Nice. Yeah, Windows for ARM would be the replacement for Windows RT. Uh, And my understanding is nothing on Windows for ARM would prevent you from just downloading an application and installing it. In fact, I was, uh, man, what was I? I was installing something the other day. I was saying F- S mode, but you can turn S mode off. Can you not? Yeah. Yeah. So like, what are you talking about? Yeah. If I can, if I can voluntarily make my phone only allow apps to be installed from the app store, that's fine. Like this is, I don't know, man, this is like the, the, I don't understand these arguments. This is, well, okay. A lot of the, a lot of the Apple argument boils down to, well, you, you do have a choice. I, I like the locked down experience. Sure. And it's like, right. So then sit down and shut the f*** up. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. And I should be allowed to install whatever software I feel like on this thing. That I mean, it's not, it's not like Apple gives away the iPhone. If Apple gave away the iPhone, this would be a completely different conversation. Like, okay, for example, remember that TV, Luke? That TV that uh, it watches, like, you watches you and plays ads or whatever. If that's the deal, okay, the hardware is free. You watch as much TV as you want. And they're like, yeah, we're going we're gonna to bombard you with ads. It's going to be pay to play for anyone who wants to be part of this ecosystem and have their ads displayed or whatever. It's like, yeah, sure, fine. But my understanding, when I pay full pop, and don't kid yourself, Apple's not discounting the iPhone they're not subsidizing the cost of the iPhone with the App Store. They are just, they are, they are charging as much, if not more. They're taking more margin than pretty much any, I think, any other handset maker, as far as I can tell. Um, so when I pay full price for something, my understanding, and your understanding should be that it belongs to you. And so the fact that anyone is not offended by this, that anyone sees this behavior and goes, yeah, this is good. It's just baffling to me. And if you make the choice to only use the App Store, by all means. But when I say I shouldn't have to, again, sit down and shut the f*** up. It's that simple. Yeah. Nice. Oh, Dan's not here to move the, 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 the cards. How will we know what to do? He's supposed to tell us through our... Well, we don't need 10 more minutes because we both agreed that Apple is being buttheads. 
Yeah. I'm really looking forward to trying the Vision Pro, though. Yeah. Yeah. Real heavy. Yeah, we're getting our hands on. Uh, we're getting our hands on one. February fourth, I think ours arrives. You gotta do neck workouts. Um, okay, I I am not. I don't know how exaggerated. This I am is. not doing any neck workouts. I am going to. I'm gonna go in cold and see if it's overblown. As someone who regularly wears headphones and who regularly VRs, I suspect that it's not going to bother me as much as people who do not regularly How VR. How much does it weigh versus like an index? But I have heard it is quite heavy. Yes. Please show Dan Cam, okay? A wild Dan appears. There's Dan. Oh, sorry. I mean, a wild um, <coughs> Nad appears. A non, non inf- a non infringing. Um, all, all resemblance is uh, coincidental. <laughs> Do you, does anyone see where I'm going with this? Uh, I yes. don't really get the point. Yeah, we, we copied the, it's a very similar character model, but it's not the same thing. Oh, so like Pal World. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh. Nat stands for not a Dan. <laughs> 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 I'm made of AI now. <laughs> yeah, Cheaper. I ap- I apologize in advance for the fact that Nad is probably going to stick as a nickname for you. <laughs> <laughs> I could be worse, Dan. That's fine. Yeah. Wait, you what? Mean Nad. <laughs> uh, looks like Sorry, the index weighs more. Bad. Yeah, it looks like the index weighs more than the Vision Pro. So it's going to be fine then. Yeah, so it's probably going to be what's fine. What's everyone freaking out about? I think it's Apple, right? So on the one hand, you have the things that Apple does that are actually really scummy. Yeah. And then you've got people that are just like, no, man, this seems fine. And then on the other hand, you've got Mm. what appears to be a very compelling product that could change computing. We'll see. And people are like, oh, my God, it needs to be cooled. (laughs) They need cooling in it, and there's like there's glass lenses, and glass is heavy. Ugh. It's, it's like people, well, people are I, saying because uh, it's yeah. not as well balanced, and, and sure, because the, the strap the, apparently isn't as good. The index ain't that well balanced. I I, I so. would have hoped that Apple would get the strap right, though. I mean, then again, that's like I don't know, kind of their thing is they have okay accessories, and then other people fill in the gaps. So maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's fine. Um, one thing I'm really excited for, though, is that apparently it comes with Apple's cleaning cloth. Now, we missed the initial outrage train on the $40 cleaning cloth. Oh, uh, it's included, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we, so we, we were like, well, realistically, there's no point making a video about this because people have kind of got it out of their system Wait now. On it. But yeah. it's not like it ever went away. So I'm going to get an opportunity to check out Apple's cleaning cloth. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I can't so believe it's free. I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, I, I, I doubt it's going to get much airtime in the video. I've, I've kind of said my piece about Apple's pricing. We did a video a number of years ago when they announced the $700 wheels <clears throat> for the old Intel Mac Pro. What was that? The t- 2019 Mac Pro or whatever. I have to memorize years instead of just generations because, I don't know, Apple things. Um where I, where I basically talked about how it's it's it has yeah it has I, I actually forget my point but it was a good point and it pretty much explained why Apple prices things the way they do it's because they want to be a luxury brand they're a consumer electronics brand but they really 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 want to be a luxury brand and that's an image that they project um, and it's an image that some people buy like it's the whole blue bubble green bubble thing has always been baffling to me you can get iPhone for like hundred dollars on eBay yeah. that'll like you get your bubble color or whatever who cares mm-hmm. um, I, I, it, I don't, they should change the shade I don't really see how based on the generation of phone. Can you not give them ideas? <laughs> or no, no. The, you know people the newest, from... The newest one should be the deepest blue, and as your phone ages, it should fade. You do. That way, that way they don't have to, like, update. They're, they're never going to, like, run out of blues, you know? Because it'll just get worse. Like UV reactive paint kind of thing? Uh, Luke, <laughs> you do know that people from Apple watch this show, right? <laughs> They don't acknowledge us, but I have heard from people at Apple. <laughs> Chat's so mad. <laughs> you gotta have, dude, the new generation of phone comes out. Your bubbles 
are going to be less blue. So you guys can see why it's a good thing that Luke is not evil. Because if he was, he'd be an evil genius. Oh, I could work at the genius. Please one. mute Luke. <laughs> if he can do it to you, you need to do it to him. <laughs> yeah, Dan, I think we've established now that I should have a Luke mute button. Uh, I don't know about that. I think Dan's with me on this. Dan? Yeah, I'm setting it up right now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he would too. Good guy, Dan. <laughs> uh, all right. What's our next?